Uh, right, thanks very much for coming. Um, today is a, a very sad day, um, a day of some violence in Calais, um, a place, uh, the jungle, the reason you're all here, uh, the refugee camp known as the jungle uh, will be no more by the end of this week. Uh, this is not the first time the French government were standing outside the French embassy for a reason. Uh, as we know, we're coming into an election, an election year in France, and the French president, Francois Hollande, uh, wants to gain votes from the right wing. So he, at the expense of people who have fled war and devastation, uh, he has taken the decision to demolish a camp and put people on buses and send them to the four corners of France without proper research, without proper interview. Uh, they're going to be told to claim uh, asylum in France or they will be uh, put in detention or they will be sent back to either the first country they landed in in Europe which would be either Greece or Italy or sent directly back to where they came from Syria or Afghanistan or Sudan and uh, it's just a dreadful situation uh, I got back last Tuesday from Calais and uh, for the few days I was there uh, they were interviewing the children and uh, sorry, they were supposed to be interviewing the children. There are, there are uh, 1,022 unaccompanied minors in the camp out of a total of 1,147 children in the camp. Uh, most of the kids are unaccompanied, uh, teenage boys, as young as, young as six. Uh, so they were asking them to uh, attend at the, uh, the container camp area for interview and the first couple of days they were handing out tickets for interviews and they were it was like Charlie in the Chocolate Factory in the Golden Ticket. There were fights over the tickets because they thought there were only limited places. It was absolutely desperate. The, on Monday and Tuesday of last week it was pouring rain all day and they made hundreds of these kids queue up and uh, no interview at the end of it. Uh, I, I left on, on Tuesday evening I heard on Wednesday the same thing was happening so to my knowledge, nothing has improved, and yet these kids have been put on buses and been sent to different places. They've been ripped out of the support structures in, uh, that, are, that have been set up in the jungle. There's an amazing Irish woman, uh, some of you here will know. Uh, her name is Karen Moynihan, and she runs the Refugee Youth Service in Calais, in the jungle. And she has formed relationships with hundreds of those children. They call her mother. and. Uh, she is absolutely distraught, I have to say. She's doing an interview on Pat Kenny tomorrow morning from the camp, so I recommend strongly that you all uh, listen to that interview. Um, she also has done a very short interview uh, that we are pushing out on social media. We have a Facebook page started called Not An Hour Watch, and uh, please go and have a look at it. And uh, if it doesn't move you to tears or action or anger, nothing will. Uh, anyway, we're gathered here today uh, to show our solidarity with those in the camp or who have been shoved out of the camp in Calais, people from all over the world, from Afghanistan, from Syria, from Iraq, from Sudan, from Eritrea, from Ethiopia. Uh, Karen Rooney is here and Ellen O'Keefe is here and I'm not sure if anybody else. Some of the other people that have been here have worked in the camp as well and we all have friends in the camp and we're extremely worried about them.